Okay, so I have all these apples here. First thing you want to do is wash them off. Now I'm going to just take the apples and cut them up with this. You can leave the skins on or peel them off. You can use a knife, but I'm going to use this to separate the core from the apple itself. And then I'm going to leave the skin on. So what I'm going to do is just right now use this and, and press it down and that'll separate the apples from the core. Okay, so I got about 12 more apples to do. And that's the core, we're gonna draw it away. Okay, so all my apples are all cut up. I got them in water so they don't turn brown. But if you see any that have the seeds right there, right there, so just cut that off. Cut that away. And that's it. Okay, so this part here is the part where I put my apples in the processor so it can blend down. For the apple juice, I'm gonna use a cheesecloth to strain it all out to get all the juice into the bowl. So that's what it should look like. But I got a little bit of a process to go through because I got that much apples to do. And what I'm gonna do is just do that and get back with you guys. So every once in a while, you might have to do this to push down whatever apples that are up inside the wall there. That way everything gets all down there so you can blend it up. So what I'm gonna do right now is take my cheesecloth and I'm going to strain it all in the bowl and then make apple juice. Look at this cup, almost full to the top. Pure apple juice, nothing added. Okay guys, so that's about it. It's a long process, but it's worth it because this is pure apple juice. I didn't think I was gonna get this, this much, but um, this is almost full. That's pure apple juice, no sugar, no water added, just pure apple juice.